Hi there. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of gameplay reviewing continuity, whatever it's called. You know, coming up with names is hard, so we'll just do whatever we'll do. <clears throat> Crank up the volume here. So, uh, if you're not aware of what I do here, usually is I find weird situations in this game called GTA Vice City. And this is one of them. Sometimes I just drive around and just chill. I don't usually go through missions or play the standard way. So somehow I got this cop to stay there and just point the gun at me. And I'm doing nothing. I'm just rotating the camera and waiting. And you know, time goes by. Seasons change. Rain falls and then stops falling and then falls again. You know, there's all kinds of chaos here, all kinds of glitches. Somehow this game really glitched out here. So we got this cop staying around just pointing at me. Not shooting though, right? That's the weird thing. I have a wanted star. Uh, the police is after me. I got the lowest wanted level. But I got a wanted level. So, yeah, and this cop is supposed to be shooting at me. <clears throat> but somehow I got him in this situation where he doesn't. And it's ultra weird and bizarre. Do you see how he points the gun at me whenever I move? But he doesn't shoot. He just points the gun at me. He's like a pointer dog. He just points. I should call him Pointy McPoint Face or something. And there's this dude standing near the palm tree, also not really doing anything. I wonder, I wonder what gives. And there's this lady stuck there. She can't pass. This pedestrian cannot pass because there's a lantern of some sorts blocking, obstructing the path, obstructing the path. So she's also stuck here. So we're all just kind of stuck here, except for me. I, I can do whatever I want. Whatever, I do what I want. <clears throat> so we got all these people here. And of course, the traffic jam because of the car I left there on the, in the middle of the street, right? There's like a bus here. You can possibly hear some bus, bus sounds. And yeah, the bus is going crazy. The bus is like, you know, I want to pass, but I am blind. I cannot see that I can go around these cars. So, <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm kind of experimenting, right? I'm trying to see at what point he will start shooting. So if I move too far to the left, maybe he will start shooting. I don't know. But somehow this is like gridlock. <clears throat> yep, he starts shooting <clears throat> when I move to that position. But when I stand here, he doesn't. So I'm, I'm kind of also stuck. I mean, not really, but almost. So I'm, I'm trying to like see what what I can do here like how far I can go before he starts shooting again and running around uh, we don't want him to run around, run around the wall oh and I just got bored and I just punched that dude to see how he would react and he just ran away so he wasn't really stuck or maybe he wasn't stuck till I uh, released him from his thingy and there you see the bus going wild <clears throat> you know the bus is like I can't take it I can't take it what shall I do you know, these are like blind computers, computer players, algorithms, right? They, they just, they're programmed to follow the path. And when something obstructs the path, the bus just does not know what to do. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm getting increasingly more bored and I'm like, hey, nice lighting effects. And I'm like, uh, you know, trying out various things. Hey, look, from this point of view, you can see some graphical glitches. That's a weird angle, right? If you think about this angle. So he's just standing there here, so his arm doesn't get tired, he's just pointing the gun at me. If I move too much to the left, he starts shooting. And I suspect all of these glitches all these glitches happen because <clears throat> I'm I'm using some uh, old saves saves. I played the game like 10 years ago and I'm, I'm using the 
old saves from that. Oh, now he's shooting. Now he shoots. And he, oh, he's 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 a shooter now. He's a shooting star. So what shall I do here? I'm losing health. And I for totally forgot what I was talking about. Well, yeah, saves. I'm using the saves from 10 years ago, and I'm using this on Windows 8.1. And maybe there's like a conflict or something, or my saves are corrupted somehow. Or, or because I use cheats during my save, like during my gameplay, and then save them. Maybe that's why these uh, saves are so weird. But, yeah, on the other hand, it's cool to get glitches like these. I don't know if I could achieve a glitch like this with regular saves, regular gameplay, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, uh, these glitches did have a bad side. Sometimes I, it would just glitch out and I couldn't, ju I just couldn't play. Like, it would, like, be stuck in slow mode when you do a stunt. You know, you jump off. You jump, you jump a high jump on your mo motorbike or your car, and then it just transitions into slow motion, showing you the stunt. So yeah, sometimes it would get just stuck there forever, and I would not be able to continue playing. So what I did is I started uh, playing the game from from the very beginning. I deleted all the save states, and then I passed a few. I completed a few missions. And to unlock the second half of the map. Oh, hey, hey, what you doing there, champ? So I unlocked the set. I locked the second half of the map, and now I am able to play without glitches. But this is an older recording. It's from the time when I still uh, played with glitches. So that's probably why. And now there's three of them. There's like because I punched the the copper. I punched the cop, I say. So uh, the, the, there's more of them shooting at me, and there's like this car in a way. I'm trying to like, I'm trying all sorts of stuff, but I don't want to die. I'll probably end up using cheats, health cheats. The health cheat uh, cheat here is you just type on your keyboard the word aspirin. And yeah, I kind of want them to shoot at the cars now. No, here I just wanted to move the car, but it's immovable. Look how little it moves when I run. I wanted to put it on top of this cop to prevent him from shooting at me and not killing him either because when you kill him, another one just takes his place. But when you bury him with this car, there's one, one cop fewer to deal with. You know what I'm saying? He's still there. I didn't do anything to him. Like It does not increase my wanted level or anything. It's just one cop fewer to deal with. And I could like bury all of them with cars, theoretically. It's not a foolproof plan because they keep moving around. It's hard to accomplish, I guess. And look, my health is very low, so I might just use the cheat any second now. I'm trying to do something with this car, but it's uh, but it's it's, it's you know it doesn't do anything. It's not going to be fruitful. My efforts are not going to result in any achievements and I guess here I'm gonna just apply the health sheet because I'm very low on my health down on my luck and low on my health <laughs> so hey look this other cop is just stuck there on the, uh, near this lantern he's just constantly exhausted <laughs> that's funny right that's another glitch look he's just standing there I'm so close to him and he's like walking around and constantly bumping into that lantern and uh, yeah, he just you know keeps walking around and then like being exhausted, showing signs of being exhausted. And that's it. That's the only cop that's shooting at me. The one from the far, the one behind him. And some sometimes he hits, but rarely, very rarely, he just keeps missing. And he shoots at cars as well. Like that's how bad his aim is. So. Uh, I'll just tell you a secret how this will end. He'll shoot at a car too much. The car will catch flames and then it will explode. Uh, and then uh, uh, the other cars will catch fire and uh, they will explode too. And uh, killing all of these coppers. Killing these coppers, say! Killing all of them. Uh, and like, thus triggering the respawn of this game 
and more cops will arrive and probably bust me or something. So they're just shooting at me like the bad boys they are. How do you justify shooting at me? I haven't done anything. Well, except for the, the kinds of things that result in shooting at me. But aside of that, everything was hunky-dory. So we're just sitting there looking at them shooting at us. And uh, yeah, it's kind of getting boring, right? So I'm rotating the camera a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's funny. It's giving you all kinds of different angles. He's mine, he says. You can hear him talk. Like they, they say, hey, he just... He just got a flat tire there. He just shot in straight into his tire. That's how bad his aim is. So, like, there are all all these kinds of per phrases these guys say. Like, one of them was, like, uh, he's mine or something like that. The other one is uh, the typical one and pretty uh, funny is, uh, shoot him, we're always right. <laughs> That's funny, kind of. I mean, not if it happens in real life, but this is just like training, he said. Not if it happens in real life, but it's just a game. Come on, come on, everybody, come on. This is just a game. Nothing in this game happened. Hold cheat. You see, I, I applied the, the, I see him. He says, I applied the health cheat I was talking about earlier because I'm too lazy to go somewhere else. And at this point, I just want them to shoot their cars and to make them explode. Like technically, I wouldn't even be responsible for it. They just shot their own cars while trying to shoot at me. Well, they're just standing there near the burning car. So technically I didn't do anything. Like when I when I put that car over that cop. Like he's still there alive, lying under that car. You know, he's just incapacitated. He can't get up and the game won't replace him by another cop. So there's just only two cops there. And one of them is just standing around <laughs> Confused, combo discombobulated by the lantern or something, street light, by the street lantern, street light. So, not too many people around there. Somehow, this bus that was going crazy kind of, kind of disappeared. I don't know what happened there. I guess I moved some cars, and now the street got unblocked. You know what I was trying to do here? I was trying to get this one cop to shoot the other cop, just to see if I could do it, if they could do it, but somehow. Move in, I got your bag, he said. Move in, I, oh. That's the car that will end up exploding, actually. You see how he's going, he's really going at it. He's shooting this car up. And his aim is terrible. He doesn't realize that there's a, that there's a car between us. He says, this is just like training. This is just like training. Got a headshot. So yeah, we're just waiting around for this dude to blow up the car, basically. And he's really taking his time. He's really taking his time. It It's not a really... I got, like... My attention got distracted by that bike. I, I guess I wanted that bike, maybe. I don't know. But I can't leave this. I've invested already too much in this whole situation. I want to see it happen. I want to see the master plan get fulfilled the prophecy and it happens it started and now we gotta get out of the way because it, it's gonna blow and the two other cars and the other car exploded and then this car will explode leading to a chain reaction and all of the cars exploded even some some unrelated car that was just driving by so yeah all the cops got replaced and you're really boring me, mister. And, you know, there's more cops after me. Because now there's not, like, one disabled cop just bumping into a lantern and the other cop under the under the car. No, there's three fully capable cops after me. And like, I could try to, like, cover one of them with a car, but it's, this car doesn't seem to be movable. You see, I'm... I'm I'm really, tr really trying hard, but it doesn't seem to be moving at all. So I guess this is not going to work anymore. My old tricks are not going to work. I need new cars. I need to change the location, right? It, it, 
I need to set up. These police cars don't really move when you run towards them like that. <clears throat> hey, there's, hey, there's another bus there. You see in the background? The bus, the bus drives through here a lot. There's a bus station nearby. So what do I do here? I just ran here to like prevent myself from dying because I need to apply a health sheet. You know, I want to... I need to type in an armor sheet as well. I need to type in aspirin <clears throat> and precious protection. So I typed in all that and I got some extra lives there. Extra time. So, I, oh yeah, I think I, uh, I, I, I succeeded covering one cop with a car. How cool is that? But now there's still two of them left, right? So th there's still more than previously. I think one of them is just standing now. That's cool. No, there's still three of them. The other one stood up because the car got moved because of some idiot driving a car bumped into this car. So yeah, thanks for nothing, dude. So some crazy car driver just, you know, ruined my plans. Oh, hey, look, it's on fire. How is it even on fire? Okay, I guess the cop was just shooting at, at his own car and this, it happened. Just like it happened before. <laughs> he said, You are so intolerant, girlfriend. Uh, this dude is one of those. Okay. I thought he was just a regular skater boy. He said, See you later, boy. <laughs> he cannot buy the Malibu at this time. Look, we got all these people dancing. And this is the end of the continuity analysis review thing, you gameplay, you whatever. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. By the way, this game ended with a glitch, that's why. It glitched out here and then that's why I stopped playing.